Hell yeah, it's hella talent here. I feel like a lot of people, when they get on, they be forgetting that there's more people like them in the city, like people with hella talent, you know? I think that's another reason why people say we need to be more like Atlanta. Like, people get on here and don't reach back, you know? Like, like they don't know, like, I feel like Young Thug, for example, he knew that it was hella more motherfuckers who can make, because at the end of the day, all this shit about making money. So even though if you want to give a young nigga a chance, you're not going to spend no money on him unless you know he's going to make you some money, you know? So like with Gunna and Young Thug, he knew Gunna was raw as hell. He was going to make him some money. Gunna, damn near as big as Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? Like I be feeling like people from Chicago be forgetting that it's, other, it's more talent here, you know? What do, you think, what do you think could change uh, Chicago? Like, what do you think could change the way? I hate that question. Why do you hate that question? There ain't no way to change Chicago, regardless of, regardless of uh, what you tell a motherfucker. They gonna think how they, people simple minded in, in Chicago. You know, you can try to convince a motherfucker the sky blue, they still gonna think it's purple. Like, you can't really, you know, unless you sit a million dollars in their face. You know, motherfuckers ain't gonna go off no thought. They don't give a fuck what you talking about. You think as far as like uh, the various different beats that they got going on in the city, you think if somebody had a record label ever? No. Don't think that would change anything? I feel like people who be beefing don't care about rap. Cause if you care about rap, you wouldn't be beefing. I care about making this, I care about making money, I care about putting my niggas on. I care about us being in the position. Since I care about that, I'm not finna be worried about making a diss song and be shit that's gonna make a label look at me as a loss of it. Like I'm gonna help lose money, venues ain't gonna wanna book me. I feel like people who diss and do all that shit, they don't think about shit like that. Like, say you, say you into it with dirt. I just know how Dirk just did Big Jam. Because you went to it with Dirk and Dirk was the headliner, you could have made Big Jam, but you can't now. Because you went to it with folks. You know? And you broadcasting in your music. Street shit need to stay street shit. Shouldn't nobody know you went to it with him through no songs. You know? So I don't really, I don't like, uh, we don't do no music beats. We don't do none of that. Uh. You think, you think, uh, like you say, uh, you think certain shit should be left off, off tracks? Leave it in the streets, man. Leave it in the streets. Don't make no song about me. You're not going to get no reaction from me. Ain't nobody going to hear that but your homies. Because I'm not going to respond to it. No, bro, leave that shit in the streets. Why are you putting that shit in your song that's gay? Why are you rapping about other niggas? You don't even know you giving them clout. Because now you didn't say his name in the song. Yo, supporters finna go listen to what the fuck he gotta say. And you better not hope his rap better. Cause you just got a hundred thousand on that song. Because his rap sound better, he finna get five hundred. <laughs> 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 oh, bro.